everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have the wheeling and dealing challenge from BitLife. So we have to own a food truck, a marijuana dispensary, uh, engage in 10 team building exercises, take 50 in bonuses and sell a company for 100k profit. So starting off, I went ahead and did a food truck as my very first thing. And I started off my life as a royal because it helps you with having money already. So if you have God mode, do that. Also should mention, you cannot do this challenge without the business job pack. Uh, which requires you to purchase it. So you're going to see me go in here and I'm going to perform market research on quite literally every available product because it's better to have a high demand and lower competition. So I found that the double bacon cheeseburger was decent so we went ahead and did that. Um, I watched some of Tanya's videos on the business update if you're curious about that. So I will have a link to her, card, uh, her channel in the cards. Uh, because I found that that helped out a lot and then I go in and I just do some team building stuff and I pay my Employees big bucks with uh, as many possible ones that we can get so right now we have five So you're gonna see me here at the very top It's so that I could sell 82% more servings at the current price. So I did 82% of the Production that we had of 47.5. So I ended up with like 80 something thousand um, Here I think I did just some random options and then for my fourth, my fifth year, we had decent stuff. So you'll see here that I kept the existing production plan, I believe, because I was thinking I was going to be able to sell it. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I didn't realize how long it takes to sell something for 100k profit. So that was our first check mark was the food truck business. Um, and I think after that... I continued trying to do this. I did a valuation to see how much the company was worth. We are over uh, 1.1 million, so we're not too bad on that. But I wasn't able to sell this company for the amount that I needed. I ended up actually losing money whenever I tried to sell it. So you can see here that I had up to 1480 for my like 1480. Um, so I ended up going in and giving myself that bonus and took the 50000 just to check off the second one. And I figured that would probably be the time to do it. And then I had this where I lost 262000 for selling my one food truck. So we ended up getting all three of the team building. Uh, the team building was done as well. So I ended up going in here. You have to, I moved to Canada after that because I knew Canada had a legal marijuana thing. So that was where we are now immigrated to immigrated to Canada and then we bought a marijuana dispensary. And I didn't really care about the name. I was being a little bit picky on it, but I gave myself a very small salary. And then we went in and we did this again with performing market research. So that was kind of where I was at with that. I believe I ended up going with the gummies because they had a very low competition and a very high rate. Also found that with Indica, I think is how it's pronounced. So I ended up doing both of those, I think. So I kept everything the way that it was whenever it first loaded up, just so I could see. And then I ended up skipping for a bit. I did end up retiring things when I was losing money from it, which is what you just saw there. And then I went back in and we tried to do some more market researching, trying to see what was in good demand and low competition. So you'll see me kind of hop around. I did end up doing a few multiple products here because I found that with this, it was going to help me out the best. Um, I think I ended up going with this Tiva in the end on this one when I was doing this because the demand is pretty much at the very top. So I went with that and renamed it, went with whatever we had, and I left, I brought the production plan down just a little bit, just to see how it was going. So we had gummies and a flower going on right now. So with that, I ended up aging up. I had lost a little bit of money, which is no big deal, on my one year, but I did sell out and I could sell 30% more grams. So I went in and I did the math. So 30% of 103,000 was the math that I was doing. And I ended up increasing it to around 134000 And then all of my packages were sold out of Montreal, but it didn't give me any tips. So I did end up increasing it just a teeny tiny bit. Um, and then we went to a football game. I ignored the dating thing. And we aged up and I ended up making some decent money. 
So it said that my demand was going to decrease by 20,000. So I ended up subtracting 20,000 from 134, 20% uh, 20 from 134,000. So I ended up going down to around 104. And then here I had 15% of packages unsold of my gummies. So I needed to subtract the 15, but I think I ended up retiring it. I recognized my employee when I could, skipped over the oysters because that doesn't matter, but I believe I went in and I retired my gummies. I did. All right, so we still have to sell the company for 100K profit. Um, so I go in and I look at the valuation. So we're worth about 5 million right now around there. So I look at my investments. My investment right now is 26, 2 million, 600,000. So I went ahead and lost profit on that because I figured I was going to do okay. But then I went ahead and did another business and ended up making a lot of money. So it's kind of just a very lucky thing, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. And if you're already subscribed and want notifications when I post, go ahead and hit that bell down below. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know and I'll do my best to help you out in the comments. And I think I said this already, but I post videos six days a week right now. BitLife is typically only on Saturdays, but I'm thinking about doing a video on the business update overall. So if you're interested in that, let me know, and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, lovelies!